Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I wanted to discuss with you VAT, um, especially in the UK, registering for VAT, what it means, when you have to do it, just VAT stuff, because I get a lot of questions about it. So on my computer here, I've written some notes. You can see um, you only have to register. You don't actually have to register for VAT at the beginning. You only have to register for VAT once you're making 83,000 pounds of revenue per month and that is worked out from um, literally revenue so you would find out how much you're making on Amazon Seller Central in the report tab which is your revenue and that is if that's 83k in a year then you've got to be um, you've got to be VAT registered you've got to register yourself for VAT now it's only on UK sales that you pay VAT so if you're making 100 grand in dollars I think you still need to be registered for VAT but you don't actually have to be paying 20% um, because it's only UK sales now I've written here 20% of revenue and you have to add this on yourself. So what does this mean? So you'll be paying 20% of every sale to VAT every quarter. And you may think, well, that's a, that's a massive jump into my profits. Well, if you're selling something for 10 pounds, just add 20% onto that. So add an extra um, two pounds onto that. that quick math. Add an extra two pounds onto that. So instead of selling it for 10 pounds, sell it for 12 pounds. And just when you get your payouts every, week, every two weeks, take 20% of that and put it into a separate bank account. So when you set up your business bank account, tell them you want to set up a savings account to go along with it and put 20% of that into the savings account every time you get a payout. And that way when you, um, remember, don't put 20% of your payout, put 20% of the revenue you got for those two weeks because you get paid out every two weeks because it's not profit, it's revenue. So remember that. We've made that mistake before. I don't recommend making it. And what this allows is, this allows when, when it comes to um, um, the quarter where you have to pay VAT or your accountant tells you or you do it yourself, you won't be like, oh no, I have to pay three grand. I, I don't know I don't have that money. This money is put aside for it and you pay with that money. Now, there are benefits to being VAT registered as well, such as you can claim back VAT on certain things. So for example, import um, duty, when you ship something from China to um, England, you have to pay some sort of, excuse me, some sort of import tax. I'm very hungry. You have to pay some sort of import tax, um, however much it may be, we pay about 150, 200 pounds every time. And um, when you're VAT registered, you can actually claim that back and you'll get, you'll get back the majority of that money, which is really, really useful. As well as if you're buying computers for your business, if you're buying, um, sometimes if you're buying stock in the UK, um, anything basically you're being charged VAT on, you can claim back and get the VAT back, which is 20%. So that is the benefit. For example, we became, we um, we, regist we registered for VAT even before we hit 83K just because we wanted to claim back stuff. Um, I don't recommend doing that. I would recommend only registering for VAT when you have to, unless you've got tens of thousands of pounds worth of stuff to claim back on. Um, if you don't, then just register when you get to 83K. So that's that's what VAT is. I hope that I hope that explains it. If it doesn't, or if you have more questions, please leave a comment below and I'll answer it. I'll maybe even make a more in-depth video about it. So thanks for watching this and check out the next video.